I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play the Pyramid Gate by Strange Think. This is a low res jam, um, game jam game by Strange Think. Um, it's currently fairly light on content, being a game jam game and all. Um, but the game, it's being given a sort of expanded sequel that will be a bit longer. I just love the look of this and the surreal weirdness to it. But if you know me, you know that anything that's like can be described by the words creepy, surreal, weird, or artsy, I just absolutely love it. So you should be able to know that I will love this game. Um, I just love how the the visuals work, like the as a first person low res thing. Like I've never seen something deliberately quite like that. Well, I, I guess I have, but not quite to this extreme and not quite in this surreal direction. To so note, as we put stuff together. Like, as we activate the laser thingers, something starts happening over here. There's like a terrible orb of blackness. I love you, terrible orb of blackness. Let's not fight. I just love how the the broken glitchiness... I wish more games would implement what I call glitch chic, because I don't know what else to call it. Like, um, the glitched out dungeons in Dot .hack were possibly the first time I had been exposed to it. I've probably seen it minor elements of that and other stuff but you know where the game world is treated as a like glitched out game world and you know characters in the game world are aware of that and can interact with the glitches i love that sort of stuff it's part of what i love about dot hack in general but also like the specific thing in the first set of playstation 2 games we have flipped the switch igor and I love the reflections on the little the monoliths here. It really shows what you can do with super low res. I'm not sure exactly what the resolution of this is supposed to be. I have to upscale it or else YouTube makes it look like poop. Um, YouTube's very bad about that. But I just really love the weirdness of it all. Though there's one thing, um, I'm not sure this is a uni thing, but like the directionality of the sound source is a bit weird. Like here it's on my left. That's on my right, and it seems like... I don't know. It, I don't think it should be separated quite like that. Like, It's probably just due to how the source is handled. Um, I don't know. I, maybe, I'm just, maybe I'm just oversensitive to sound stuff like that. And it doesn't help that I'm using headphones, so I'm going to notice that more. But uh, the directionality of sounds kind of bugs me a bit. That is unfortunately the end. Like I said, um, Game Jam game being expanded on. Um, you can go to, I think, just strangethink.com. Um, there'll be a link in the description, but he's got some teaser videos of some updates he's doing to, you know, version 2.0. Um, definitely interested to see how this turns out. I love... Um, so when I think about virtual reality, this is the sort of stuff I really want to see. Like, just weird surreal stuff that's not trying to emulate reality like i'm not very interested in you know minecraft but real life or you know more gun shoot super realistic halo 34 um i mean that stuff's great too and i'll probably play some stuff like that but what i really want is weird stuff that you know virtual reality can give you that feeling of being in a place that you're not and it seems like kind of a waste to just use that to give you you know familiar locales so i really want to see stuff like weird shit like this like proteus i really want virtual reality proteus that would be a great way to just relax um stuff like this um what else have i seen um the witness is, i think the witness is getting vr isn't it um that would be really cool and just anything that's weird and surreal, I, I have a strong bias towards that. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Definitely looking forward to the next version. I might, you know, do a video of whenever that's done.